Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Yes, I'm back here behind this 2023 GMC Sierra 2500 HD AT4. This is powered by a 6.6 liter Duramax diesel V8. So what we're going to do in this video, have a look at this beast from a front end design, the side view, the rear, the interior, and then we're going to take this for a drive. And this can tow up to 22,500 pounds which is nuts, so let's get into it. Let's have a look at some of the basic spec and tech of the 2023 GMC Sierra 2500 HD AT4. You have a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel V8, putting out 445 horsepower and 910 pound-feet of torque, connected to a 10-speed automatic. Obviously, you do have four-wheel drive. Zero to 60 takes 6.5 seconds. Fuel economy comes in at 13 city, 18 highway, and the price for this is 76000 $998. Starting with the front end design of this thing and just have a look at the height of the overall front end. This is like a facade more than a front end of a truck. You do have the front mounted camera right here. You also have this dark kind of chromish finish inside of the grill with the red accents in the GMC logo and the tow hooks down here for the AT4 spec. I do like this design because it feels like this is the functionality of a truck. It doesn't really look beautiful, but that's not really what this truck is about. Since we have a big 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel under the hood, we do need some proper cooling. There is a lot of vents going on here. What I love about the front end here is that Pretty much every single vent is functional. You have this big vent up top that has these sculptured pieces on top of it with some chamfers and lines going on. And then that continues into the grill. This entire front end is completely open. I also like how it dips down here on the 2500, giving it a bit more of a grumpy look, which I think suits this truck overall. You have the front bander camera located right here. You also have further cooling at the very bottom. This entire section is also open. So there's no fake stuff going on in the front end of the Sierra 2500 HD. This is clearly GMC going with this C-shape LED that we have here with the big, three big LED headlights in the middle. You also have the indicator lights now being separated from the C-shape itself. So for example, in the Yukon and the regular Sierra, this indicator is integrated in this LED. But for the 2500, they decided to put the indicator inside of this black trim piece. I think it looks good specifically with this dark blue color. It's cool to see a 2500 that is not silver or black or white adding a splash of color to the exterior of this design. I think it just helps it overall. Coming around to the side view of the GMC Sierra, 2500 HD and it's really hard to fit this entire truck in the frame of the camera. We have the 6.9 foot bed in the back and we do have some nice styling in the body lines here as well to emphasize the power in the rear end axle with this curvature going over it, adding a little bit of muscle up here. Moving further along, we do have body color door handles, which I think looks nice. And these big side mirrors with LEDs pointing backwards. So this has integrated lighting in them in addition to the integrated indicators that you have up here. Beautifully done. And I think overall, this truck, the proportions of this truck, it has those classic truck bo three box proportions that I want to see in this type of truck. And it also makes sense because this, as I said, is more about function than styling and aesthetics. Some more details on the side view of the 2500 HD. You have the steps right here in the back. You also have additional steps right here, almost in the middle of the truck. So very easy to just jump up on this and check out what's going on in the bed. And you don't have any sidestep on this. So getting into the truck could be a bit of a problem if you are a shorter person. You need to really jump up here to get into the truck. But the good thing about that is that you get more ground clearance. And honestly, I think it looks better without any sidestep on the sides. Now, looking at these wheels and tire setup, we do have 20 inch wheels, although it definitely does not look like 20 inch because of the volumes of the rest of the truck. They kind of shrink them down. 275 millimeter wide tires all around. And you also have this big meaty tire going around the wheel. So you still have a proper off-road capabilities, even 
with the 20 inch wheel. I do like the design of this thing, adding a little bit of silver onto these spokes, looking classy with the GMC logo in the middle and you have the 84 HD badge right there on the side as well, looking great. Coming around to the rear end of the Sierra 2500 HD, pretty clear GMC graphics. It looks almost identical to the 1500 Sierra back here. You do have, still have this very complex but useful opening off the tailgate. You can open that part up first and then you lower this section. And last but not least, you have this sidestep right here to just make it super easy to get in and off of the bed. Looking at the taillight graphics here, and these, I, these might actually be exactly the same taillights that you have in the 1500. I do believe they are. They have the same C, C shape here that we have in the front end, although it's been squished a little bit to not intrude onto the tailgate. Imagine having the taillight going into the tailgate in this version with this complex mechanical engineering that goes on here. It would be very expensive to have a taillight sticking into the tailgate on specifically this truck. You have the 84 logo down here, the GMC, the backup camera, and the trailer connections are located right here in the bumper. If you want to talk about bazooka tailpipes, normally I don't think it's very common to have dual setup of the exhaust pipes on, on a diesel trucks, and that's not what we have here either. We do have one single exhaust, but the diameter of this thing is just ridiculous. This is the most bazooka tailpipe I've ever seen. It's not even finished in a nice finish. It just sticks out there with a big pipe looking very diesel-ish to me. Welcome to the interior. Oh, there we go, jumping up in this beast. The interior of the 2023 Sierra 2500 HD84. Let's fire this up. It is indeed 90 degrees out today, so let's get some AC blowing. And this is such a huge vehicle, this thing. I don't think you could ever sell trucks like this in Europe. It just would not work because the roads themselves are not designed for these big of, uh, of uh, trucks and vehicles. It's pretty crazy how big this is. This interior though, uh, you know, everything is very functional. You have the eight inch uh, infotainment screen up here with the vents on the side looking pretty nice and classy. But the overall vibe that I get from inside here is that it's starting to feel a bit dated, specifically with the styling up here, for example, the integration of everything, all the features that you have in the center uh, area. But I don't really mind it at the same time. The gauge cluster also have the uh, analog tachometer and the speedometer with the big display in the middle, which you can configure as you want. It's just that the overall aesthetics and the style of design in here feels like it is mid 2000 ish to me. So let's have a look at this infotainment screen. Let's see what we can do in here. Let's click on the cameras to check out what type of cameras we have. We do have a 360 camera and a super high crisp resolution backup camera. And then you have a bunch of other angles as well. You have a full 360 front view, the front tires. You can zoom in from a top view right in front of the hood. So many different angles to check out there. You also have the bed camera, of course, to check that everything is tight and secure back there. The camera systems of GMC these days are just top notch, in my opinion, specifically when it comes to the resolution of these things. Very nicely done. Then you have some chrome trim going around the vents. You have two vents here, two vents right there on the sides as well. You have the volume button for the radio. Sounds like we have a lot of bass in this radio. Sweet. Then you have the tuning knob right here as well. Further down, we do have the climate control settings being two knobs. So all you got to do is just twist these knobs to adjust the temperature on both sides, obviously. And you also have the fan speed right here in the middle. Super easy to use. You also have heated and cooled seats in three different stages. I'm definitely not going to put on the, the heated seats right now. Might actually turn on the cooled seats and see how they work. Then you have the exhaust brake buttons. You have the lane keep assist, the parking assist. You can lower down the tailgate. You have the hazard, traction control, on and off connectivity and hill descent control. In addition to two USB ports here and a 12 volt outlet with a house 12 volt outlet here as well, which I think is great. If you have some home equipment that you want to plug in directly into the car. To the left side of these connections, you do have the trail brake and you have the wireless charging this big pad right here in the middle. It's not rubberized, but it does have an angle to it. So I'm pretty sure that your phone is going to be secure if you put it down here. On the right side of the wireless charging, you do have a slot for two or three 
of your favorite markers, probably your cool grays. Those are the ones you want to put here because with cool grays, you can sketch pretty much any type of sketch you want. Doesn't necessarily have to be colored. In the middle, you do have a couple of cup holders here, pretty standard with the chrome trim going around it. And underneath this huge armrest, I'm guessing that there's going to be plenty of storage down here and yes i was right you have an aux port you have a usb-c and a regular usb and a card reader down here with a compartment that i could probably fit all my belongings in if i wanted to next time i move i'm just gonna rent a gmc 2500 hd and just put my stuff in here i don't even need a trailer i can also put some stuff in the back seat and i'm gonna be all good to go looking at these seats very nicely done classy simple looking seats with the 84 stitched into the headrests and you also have this contrast stitching which i think looks nice with these brown pieces in the seats themselves and these are obviously power adjustable both in the front driver's seat and the passenger seat now if you look at this area here this is where it starts to look a little bit dated to me in addition to this but here where the styling really i think needs an update we do have a nice housing for the gauge cluster and the analog speedometer and the tachometer and you have the gauge in the middle which you can configure and do whatever you want with you can have the navigation in there you can have the media info and the home screen being just the speedometer in the middle very nicely done that's all you need i don't think people who buy the 2500 are looking for you know a luxuriously styled interior they just want everything to work and everything to be easily accessible and for that reason i do think that this styling overall suits the 2500 hd on the left side of the gauge cluster you do have the trail mode and you have the four wheel high low and two wheel drive and the light settings are available here as well with the light button for the cargo lamps looking at this steering wheel this is a very basic gmc steering wheel if you've been in any recent gmc product this is going to be the exact same steering wheel design with this sort of wooden trim on the lower spokes and you also have black plastic around the buttons and the buttons themselves but the leather that we have here is pretty nice then you have the same contrast stitching that comes back on the seats and up here on the dash coming back in the steering wheel pretty fancy touch there by GMC the doors the design of the doors uh, goes in the same philosophy as the rest of this truck it's all about functionality horizontal vertical lines we do have some carbon fiber looking piece right here I'm not sure why they added that in this specific piece but it's interesting to see otherwise it's just a black door panel with some large storage compartment in the bottom and a proper door handle this is the most rugged door handle i think i've ever seen in a car up top you do have a normal standard sized sunroof last but not least do we have a glove box in the 2500 hd of course we do we even have two of them have a look at this one at the lower section and then this one up top perfect jumping into the back seat literally jumping up here we do have plenty of space if you think the normal sierra 1500 is large this is absolutely massive you do have some usb connections here and heated seats in the back you also have this small vents back here with a cigarette outlet and that's pretty much all you're getting back here you do have two cup holders additional to the ones you have in the front and if you fold this down you get two additional cup holders back here very nicely done by gmc okay guys it's time to take this beast of a machine out for a drive so this car is is all about functionality practicality and diesel power what do we have under the hood we have a 6.6 .6 liter duramax v8 and this is going to be tight just getting out of this parking right here hopefully i don't hit the curb it looks like i'm about clear right there it's absolutely massive so we have a duramax v8 6.6 .6 liter v8 diesel obviously power out with 445 horsepower 910 pound feet of torque which means that you can tow up to 22,500 pounds zero to 60 is done in six and a half seconds but who cares i don't think anybody buys this truck to go zero to 60 and you know for for the driving dynamics of this thing that's not what this is about but let's floor it here anyway let's see what this got all that torque 910 pound feet this can stop the earth rotation if you're not careful it's very comfortable in here even though it is such a massive machine i mean that would make sense the bigger the vehicles usually the more comfortable they are and i feel like i'm sitting 
Uh, it definitely does have some pull in it. I mean, what would you expect? There's a diesel V8. The brakes are pretty decent as well. Not too bad at all. GMC just announced their 2024 model uh, Sierra, and I do think they updated the interior because that's the one thing that definitely sets this truck back is this design that we have of the interior layout. It just feels mid-2000s. For example, with this curvatures everywhere, we don't really have that in today's uh, trucks. This eight-speed infotainment screen, that's perfect size for me, and I think it's the perfect size for uh, most people who drive this truck. I don't really think they care too much what size of screen you have as long as it's functioning as it should, which this clearly does. The bumpiness in the ride, I noticed that now they go over a little more bumpy of a road. It is noticeable, but that's also expected in this type of uh, truck with the leaf springs in the back. And when it's not loaded with any sort of weight, it's going to be a little bit uh, more bouncy and that's totally fine. Let's check the turning radius of this thing. And we barely fit within three lanes of going from the inside lane over there to uh, the outside lane right here. It's always interesting to drive the extremes of the spectrum of what, what type of vehicles we can buy today. I would say this is in the extreme when it comes to trucks with the V8 diesel and the overall size of this thing and the different di driving dynamics that you have with different vehicle types. This is not at all fun to drive. I mean, but that's not the point. And that's totally fine because you have the cars, other cars, of course, you can buy that are fun to drive. That's not what this was built for. I do like purposeful built vehicles like this uh, GMC 2500 HD truck. It just feels right that it's focusing on being the best in some specific areas, while in other categories, it doesn't really care about that. Huge thanks to ClearShift here in Denver again for providing this vehicle for me to review for you guys today. If you're interested in this beautiful blue 2500 HD, go and check them out at clearshift.com. Of course, I'm gonna link that down in the description. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.